Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be doing a chit chat nail tutorial. If you'd like, stay tuned. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am going to be showing you guys how to do a gel manicure on my nails. I had just ripped off my nails, so please excuse the way that they look. And I just shaped them a little bit and buffed them out. Um, I don't recommend anyone ripping off their nails like I had did, but first I'm just going to push back my cuticles. I've kind of been wanting to take a break from my acrylics for a little while now just because right now since my schedule is so busy, it's hard for me to make time to do everything that I need to do and on top of that in doing my nails and I feel like I take a little bit longer than I do on my regular clients just because it's like I have to do my opposite hands and sometimes I'll test things out and I don't like it and I'll take it off so um but what I'm doing is just um doing the nails without a manicure so the next thing I'm going to get is this pH bonder or it's a bond aid it's from OPI I've been using this for a while now it kind of just like dehydrates the nail and makes sure that there's no oils on it and what I had buffed my nails with before was this um 100 or 180 grit it, it has two different sides but that one's one of my personal ones. I have stuff that I use just for myself. And then the next thing that I am going to be using is this protein bond. This is from Young Nails. And this I've been using for a while. I like to use it on my acrylics and my gels also. I just like to put it on the tip of the nails. Just so there's no lifting or anything like that. I've been wanting to start to do gel more on my nails just because I have a client that I do it on and I always like the way it comes out and it's nice because like my nails they do grow really fast and I feel like this would be faster for myself to be doing stuff like the gel on and I would be able to make more time for myself if I did do this so that's kind of why. I'm just going to use this OPI base coat. I do have a prepping video if you guys would like to look on my channel and like see that. And that kind of, you're able, I do the prep the exact same for acrylics and the gel manicures. Or if I'm just doing the gel polish as well. So you guys could go and check that out. I am running out of base coat. I should probably go get another one soon. Very, very soon. <laughs> So I did end up uh, making a, a second channel if you guys are interested and in kind of just seeing like what I do on my own time. I had wanted to merge it with this channel but I just felt like it would be awkward um, having nails and then everything else that I do. So that other channel that I have it's Raina Aguirre underscore. So it's R-E-N-A. A-G-U-I-R-E and then an underscore but I had started that one just because I felt like I don't know like I just wanted to put more content out there for you guys and especially if you guys don't know me personally um you guys are <laughs> you guys know I'm always up to something I, I have live a very very busy life and so I kind of wanted to show you guys like some of the stuff that I had vlogged um but I just had I haven't been able to um, just like put it up on this channel just because I felt like it would be kind of weird to like mix the two. Okay, so now that I am done applying the base coat, I am just going to put it into the light for 30 seconds. But yeah, I'm still debating whether or not like if I'm going to make it... Sorry, I accidentally did it for five seconds instead of 30. Um, but I, I'm kind of just going back and forth about what I want to use the second channel for. Um, just because I know I did want to start doing makeup on this channel that I have. But I just feel like I want to make this channel solely just for hair and nails. And that's pretty much it. And I think maybe on my other channel I'll do like vlogs and makeup and... 
um, just some of the other things. And I know a lot of my clients, they always like to know where I get my outfits from and stuff like that. So I was thinking about even doing that or like maybe like a closet tour on there. I'm still debating, still not sure. But if there's certain things that you guys even want to see, um, I'm more than happy to do that. I'm going to be using this Limited Addiction. This one's from Essie Gel. And it's a really, really dark, pretty, 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 pretty polish. So I'm just going to be doing that and I'm just gonna do it on all of my nails. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna do some glitter on my pointer finger just to add a little bit of something. It's kind of nice having short nails. I don't know how long I'll keep this for. It kind of just depends. I'm always indecisive with my nails. I'll do um, acrylics on them, then I'll take them off, say I'm going to take a break for at least a week, and I never do. So I guess this is the best break you're going to get for me. My hair clients, they actually hate it when I don't have any nails on those. So that's the only thing is that like I know my hair clients they like it when I have nails on just so like when I am washing their hair I do have a client later on that she she always notices when um, I don't have nails on so we'll see if she notices today more than likely she will <laughs> okay and then before I put it in the light I am going to clean up around the edges I'm going to be doing my other hand last just because I feel like since I'm going to be working on this one, I feel like I might get a little bit too messy. Oop, I'm getting out on the towel. Yeah, but I'm really excited for my, my other video or my other YouTube just because I feel like I'm able to like express myself a little bit more and it's not just so sh like because this one I just want it to be strictly hair or nails so I feel like... I want it to be more professional. My other one, I just want it to be more personal. So, I don't know. We'll see kind of how that goes. <laughs> you guys will actually see. Like, what I do. We even, or I had even posted a vlog of, like, when we had went to San Francisco. I mean, it wasn't a very good one, I guess. Like, the beginning of it, it was easier to piece together how I had wanted it. But once it got closer to the end, um, it was a little bit harder. But I don't know if you guys know who Desi Perkins is. Her husband, he edits her vlogs and stuff. And I always love the way he does them. So that's the reason why I had wanted to like kind of like make the beginning of it a little bit artsy. But doing the whole thing like that, I felt like it was kind of weird because I felt like people might have gotten annoyed from the music the whole time so that's why I didn't want to do music the whole entire thing um so I kind of just didn't know what to do since it was my first time um I had just cleaned off the cuticle or around the cuticles with acetone and just a cleanup brush now I'm just going to go ahead and put it in the light for 30 seconds but yeah, so I, I just, I really like her vlogs and I'm, I'm trying to watch other people's to kind of see how they edit them. I know some people, they do it like more of raw footage. Um, for me, that's kind of hard because I feel like raw footage could kind of get like very boring for some people. So, and I like to do the edits. So for me, like I really don't mind that. But, so we'll see like if I continue to do that. I kind of wanted to give you guys a... Uh, a vlog of my daily life of kind of like what I do but I don't know if I should put them like on this channel or I should put them on my other channel I'm like kind of going back and forth with that also like I'm very undecisive I guess of what I want to do just because like since this is like hair and nails I kind of wanted to put it on this channel just so you guys could kind of see like what I do on a daily basis but yeah I just kind of wanted to show you guys like exactly what I do and and just stuff like that. I feel like it would be interesting. So hopefully I'll be able to get more footage up for you guys. So you guys could kind of just see like exactly what I do. This is the Ultimate Finish Gel from Young Nails. 
and I'm just going to get this and put it on the nail and I am going to be getting my glitter this is the one that I will be using it's kind of like I don't know it's not a gold gold it's a really pretty gold I like the way it looks so this is what I will be using today but yeah um back to like the vlogs and stuff I really 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 want to get into it more and like just kind of do a salon life vlog and like kind of just show behind the scenes because it's like so many people they see the things like just that are shown to them you know they don't understand like um a lot what goes into doing hair or nails and stuff like that so I kind of wanted to see if any of my clients were comfortable enough to do that this is going to go in for 30 seconds sorry I know I keep going back and forth in my conversations but um I just want to let you guys know what I'm doing just because I know some of you guys are really interested in knowing the products and the method that I use. I usually like to leave the glitter raw. I'm kind of debating whether or not what I want to do. Look how pretty that is. So pretty. Okay. And I was kind of thinking about doing the matte. I'm still unsure about what I want to do. What do you guys think? Matte or glossy? Comment down below what you guys think. I'm kind of thinking... Matte. I don't know why I've been obsessed with matte, so that's why... I know with gel taco, I kind of feel like I take a lot longer applying it just because I want to make sure that I get every single part of the surface. Like, I don't want to end up missing a spot. And so a lot of the times, like, I get it on my cuticle and I have to clean up. Um, but I don't mind having to clean up just because I'd rather make sure that there's a lot of product on the nails and stuff. And I don't have to worry about any of that. Alright, and then I'm just going to flip it upside down for a little bit. Just to, so it could kind of like balance out the nails. Gosh, my nails, my real nails are like so long. Yeah, I like it the way it looks when it, they balance it out a little bit. And let me get my other light. So there's two lights that I use. I The one that I'm using on all the rest of the products, they are... It, the light that I'm using is, is an LED one, but the ones that I use for the for the matte top coat is an LED or a UV lamp. Sorry. Okay, and then I am just gonna put that into the lamp two times for 160 seconds. And now what I am doing is just getting out alcohol and I'm just putting it on here you could use a lint free pad oh that one's glitter <laughs> I really like the way that looks pretty pretty okay so the next thing I am going to be doing is kind of something or I had seen it on this girl's page her name is Fabi's Nails and she had used red acrylic to do this so let me get a paper towel just because I don't want any of the glitter that I had just used to get inside of this um, and then I like to get a dappen dish just going to be getting my monomer. I use the Young Nails monomer. And then I'm just going to put a little bit in there because I'm only going to be doing this side. I like to keep my acetone in something like this. And so I just like to put one drop in there. I had actually learned this off of a video off of Young Nails. And I feel like honestly it works so good. Is you put the acetone in there and then it helps kind of stick the product together. Or like, not stick it together, sorry. It makes it dry faster. So you're able to keep like the shape that you had made. And 
and honestly doing 3d art you have to like make sure wherever you're doing it at is to make sure that 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 area is warm enough just because sometimes I do notice like when it's colder um, days or something like that it always ends up not looking right that's on this side And on myself because it's easier to like turn around than to like kind of move my whole body to look over so that's why I turn the, my finger the way I do and I just like to pick up a bead big enough and if it looks too wet like I don't know you guys probably can't tell on the video but like I'll show you what too wet of a bead looks like like if you see all the liquid coming oh wait if you see all the liquid coming to the surface that's too wet let me see like that's too wet like this this is way too wet unless you let it dry a little bit you could use it but I mean, that's typically like what wouldn't work for me is because it ends up like, since there's so much liquid in it, it ends up like rounding out instead of like keeping its shape. And I like to keep like patting off my brush and then going back. And I am, what I'm going to be doing is getting my stones ready. I have the crystals, A, B. I don't know exactly what size this is. I always tell you guys I'm going to figure it out and I don't. So I'm not going to say it. I'm just going to try to remember to do it the next time I go. Because <laughs> I've probably been there five times since after I guys told you I would tell you guys exactly what size they were. And I keep forgetting to ask. But I, I'm sure if you guys have been doing nails for a really long time, unless you're like me and you just look at the sizes that they have and you're like, oh, I want those. Then, but I'm sure you, the ones that like know the sizes and have to order them offline, you guys will know what sizes they are just by looking at them. So that other bead, I had to like get rid of it just because it was too big for where I had wanted to use it. I'm just going to place this one on top of here. So now I am just going to go ahead and get my stones ready. I like to have them ready before I do the center part. Um, since I did do these on a smaller nail, I like to use the smallest stone that I have. But if you, your client has really, 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 really long nails, then you guys could pretty much do it on, on just that. I like to put a, a bead of acrylic in the center of the nail. And then just leave it like that and then pick up a stone with your wax pencil or whatever you use and then place it on top of there and then just push down kind of 
see what that looks like. Kind of wish I would have used a gold stone instead of an AB, just because the gold stone I feel like would have matched better with this finger. Let's go ahead and put some gold stones on the pinky, just since I do want gold. <laughs> and then I'm going to be using this Rontage stone resin. And then I'm just going to be putting it around the cuticle on the pinky nail. I think I'm just gonna go with the one. I'm just gonna press down and make sure it's nice and secure. If you're doing acrylic nails, you always wanna make sure that, let me see, that the stone is flush on the nail, or if not, you have to go back behind here, um, or behind the, the, the top of the stone and make sure that there's no gap in between your cuticle and the stone just because if not if there's a gap from underneath the stone at the bottom at the bottom you'll end up catching hair under there and i had made that mistake with my last set i had not made sure that there was enough resin behind there and my hair or my client's hair kept catching when i would whenever i would do their hair or style it So yeah, definitely, if I were you guys, I would do the gold stone in there. I think it would look a lot better. But this is what they look like. Um, I'll be back to show you guys what both of them end up looking like. I don't know if I'm going to do this on both of the nails. So we'll see. Maybe I'll do two glitter. Still unsure. But you guys will see when I show you the final results. Alright, bye guys. Okay, so this is what the flower looked like. And this is what it looks from the side profile. And then this is the other one that I had did. And you could see that it's very close to the nail. It's not very bulky at all. Alright, and this is the final look. If you guys like this video, don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my channel. And as usual, I'll be back with more videos. My link is down at the bottom of the video if you guys would like to check out my Instagram. Alright, bye!